Hello friends, this video on alcohol, phenol and ethyl part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's see the reaction with zinc plus. So it will have go for reduction. At high temperature I have this phenol, I have OH, this bond will break, zinc at high temperature, I will get benzene ring back. Incidental. This is the reaction that will happen with the zinc dust. Now let's see the oxidation reaction. See oxidation reaction, I don't have the mechanism as such. Can, this is my phenol. It reacts with Na2Cr2O7 and sulfuric acid. It will give benzophenol. Sorry, this won't be a stable one. This is what it will get. Yeah. This is benzoquinol. The next is ammonia reaction. See for the ammonia, the reaction is pretty simple. I have this OH, I have NH3, I add this ZnCl to add some heat, what I get is NH2 and some water. And this is called aniline. Right, so you have to give a high temperature, maybe 575 uh, Kelvin, a very high pressure. Correct? This is ammonia NH3. Let's take one more important reaction uh, linked to ammonia. So I have this OH here, phenol, and this react to CH2 and 2 plus and this is minus. So what will happen is this will take out this OH from here, right? This bond will break and what you get is O minus and CH3 N2 plus. This N2 will easily go off, right? This nitrogen gas goes off. So what you get with this is my O minus and CH3 plus. Now there will be a direct reaction between them. Actually, it should be in this side. So you get OCH3. We'll take one more reaction. We'll take acid chloride reaction. So here uh, we have this phenol. OH and will react with C2H5 COCl. So here if you see chlorine is electron uh, high electronegativity it will get slightly negative charge slightly positive charge. Here also we'll see this bond will break actually I'll show you why. So this what you get is O CO C2H5 and you get SCl back. This is phenyl ethanoid. This is a nucleophilic reaction. Let's see the reaction mechanism of this. See, I have this, let's assume OH here. O with lone pair and it reacts with the C2H5, C. OCl. This is slightly positive, slightly negative. Right? So this is slightly positive. So this lone pair of this oxygen will try to attack on this. Right? And with that it will form. It will have to kick out something. Correct. So it will kick out. Or let me just first add them. So what happens is actually it will kick out this. This bond will break. Right? This bond will break and you'll get Cl minus out. And if you see this O now, it has H and it has Co C2 H. Correct. So this bond broke, so it got a positive charge here. Right? And this went here, so it'll be negative. So oxygen will get a positive charge. 
Correct why? Because oxygen from oxygen electrons are going into positive charge here, this gets negative charge here. But this bond broke, this negative, this positive. This positive and negative will get cancelled out. So oxygen will get a positive charge here. But that is unstable. So hydrogen will say, okay, I'll go up from here. So this will become O C O C 2 H Y. Correct? And H plus will come out. Why? Because oxygen positive charge is not stable. Oxygen is electronegative element. It can't hold positive charge. So hydrogen will say, okay, I'll come out. So hydrogen will come out. We have seen this kind of reaction so many times where we have um, positive charge on oxygen, then hydrogen comes out to make this compound neutral. Well, now we'll see the reaction with hello alkanes. So hello alkanes, uh, I have my phenol and let's suppose I have sodium hydroxide and CH3I. So when this reaction happens, what happens is you get OCS3 plus NaI and H2O. This is any sole. Right? We talked about similar reaction just now. I'll show you similar reaction we have just talked about CH2 and 2. So this OH when it reacts with NaOH, it gives ONA. Right? O minus Na plus. Correct? This is we know. Now on this when you react CH3I, this is electronegativity, so it's slightly negative, slightly positive. This will attack this guy. Correct? It's called Williamson's ether synthesis. So with this, you get something like this, OCH3 plus NaI. And this is my anisole. This is my SN2 reaction. Correct? Because this is my... The next reaction is dehydrogenation reaction. So here what happens is I have my phenol, I don't have the reaction mechanism for this and I just add hydrogens to it. So what happens is this aromaticity is broken and you get cyclohexanol. Obviously you need some nickel catalyst for this. So we have seen the hydrogenation. This is not dehydrogen, it's hydrogenation actually. Hydrogenation. So we are adding hydrogens, yeah. So we have seen the nickel catalyst in the alkene chapter when I have some alkene and then you add as a nickel catalyst, I have some hydrogen atoms, and it gets added, it gets added and becomes alkanes. I think similar uh, concept is here. The next thing we learn is the acid character of phenols. So as we have discussed this earlier also, I have this phenol OH right. So this oxygen is giving electrons right to the whole ring. So since it is giving electrons to the whole ring, it has less electron density. Correct. Less electron density. Since it has less electron density, it has to get electron more because it is its job is to give electrons to the aromatic ring because of the lone pairs, right? But since it also needs electron, so from whom we can oxygen can get electron from hydrogen. From hydrogen also it will lose the electron. It will get slightly positive charge, slightly negative charge. Correct. Please understand this. See, oxygen has lone pair, its job is to give electron to this ring. But this guy also wants, oxygen also wants electron. Since it's giving electron to the ring, it gets electron from hydrogen now. And hydrogen develops partial positive charge. And since hydrogen has partial positive charge, it can give H+. plus. So it is, it is acidic, it is more acidic than alcohol. So let's compare alcohol and phenol. Phenol is weak acid, alcohol is very, very weak acid. In fact, it's weak base also, it's amphoteric. So if you see this alcohol, as I told, 
oxygen attracts electron from r any alkyl group in the aliphatic chain so it it has high electron density on density so it is happy with by extracting electron from this r so it is not bothering this hydrogen right it is not having positive charge here but if you see this alkyl group right oxygen gives electron to this alkyl group to this phenyl group now since this is giving electron to this phenyl group it needs electrons it's again it's electronegative but uh, it's high electronegative element it, it, it's happy to have electrons around it so it will take electrons from hydrogen it will have plus for charge this will have partial negative charge so since this hydrogen has partial positive charge it is acidic here it is not partial positive why because oxygen is happy with the electrons it gets from alkyl group so it is very weak phenol is uh, it's very 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 weak acid sometimes it is base also correct also this has partial double bond character if you see draw the resonance you see that somewhere you will see that it has partial double bond character right this bond has partial double bond character character so it is difficult to break this bond but this bond it can break so it is all the more acidic because this bond is difficult to break right difficult to break but this bond is easy to break why because this bond has oc bond has got partial double bond character and that's why the co bond length is also less due to resonance correct and the dipole moment of alcohol if you see is more than phenol thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching